When two spherical charges are placed near each other, they either attract or repel. Coulomb's law tells us that the electrical force between two spherical charges is determined by three factors. The first factor is the distance between the charges and the other is the magnitude or the strength of each charge. Look at this illustration and note that the separation distance is determined from the center of each charge. Here is the Coulomb's law equation. F is the mutual force of attraction between each charge. Newton's third law of motion tells us that each charge exerts an equal but opposite force on the other. So the repulsive force of a positive 1000 Coulomb charge on a positive one Coulomb charge is equal but opposite to the force that the positive one Coulomb charge uh, exerts on the positive 1000 Coulomb charge. Let's look at a simple Coulomb's law problem. What is the electrical force between two very small spherical charges located a half a meter apart when the charge of one of them is 4.0 times 10 to the negative 8 coulombs, the other charge is 6.0 times 10 to the negative 5 coulombs. Well, the separation distances are, that's a half a meter, each charge is Q1 and Q2, and K is actually a, called the electrostatic constant, and it's found on page 1 of your reference table. This is what it looks like when we substitute the electrostatic constant and the two charges and divide by the separating distance squared. Remember, you've got to include those parentheses on the bottom. It's more important that you know the relationships between force, charge, and distance than it is to be able to plug in numbers into the equation. Let's look at the relationship between force and the separation distance. Force is on the top, the separation distance r is on the bottom, and squared, top and bottom, that's inverse, and r is squared, that's inverse square. Which one of these four plots shows the inverse square relationship? Well, it's definitely not the second one because that shows no relationship at all. The third is, that's no relationship that we're gonna use. The fourth is the direct square relationship where the slope keeps increasing. It's actually choice one. That's the inverse square sh shape. How would doubling the distance between two charges change the force between them? Well, you're doubling something that's in the denominator. That double gets squared because R is squared. So the bottom increases by four. The top doesn't increase, so it's a one. One-fourth on the right, the force will change by one-fourth. One-fourth on the right, one-fourth on the left. Two charges attract each other with a force of F. One charge is doubled, the other charge is tripled. How would that change the attractive force between the charges? So let's plug in the changes, double times tripled, both in the numerator, two times three is six. The right side increases by six, so the left side increases by six as well. Okay, let me summarize what you should have learned from this video. Coulomb's law tells us that the force between Two spherical charges depends inversely on the square of the distance between their center of mass and directly on the product of the two masses. The force between the two charges is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. The force of a large charge on a small charge is the same as the force of the small charge on the large one. And this is the end.